hello, it's Sarah. And I'm outside. This is the backyard. Uh, this little grouping of trees, it's kind of um, like a mishmash of a bunch of stuff, like things that have been propagated and given to me. But I decided I had put these bricks around the edge and kind of cleaned it all up. And there was this like part of a different tree was growing, like those two things, those stumps were growing up it. So I pulled it all down and I thought this actually would be the perfect spot for to put my fairy garden because as you come in my yard, so that's the driveway, you come down, that's the back deck and you kind of have to walk through here to get to the pool. So I thought this is like a really good visible. So here's me leaving the gate from the pool and that's how you get up to the back deck. So I'm so pleased. I got yesterday, so I've been out in the yard for like two days doing stuff. That's why I haven't been out um, making videos. But um, that little angel, I've had her fairy, I should say, for years. And she just sat randomly wherever and it wasn't a big deal. But then I made that fairy door for her. That little um, welcome banner was in a potted plant on the front porch and that's and then those rocks the rocks I kind of got those from my neighbor's yard they had taken them out of their back and put them on the front like I guess for people to take anyway I just took two when I was walking Kirby and they ended up there and that's my little lizard that I painted on that rock and then I just put different um, those are looking kind of, I need to, to water them again, I think, because I just planted these yesterday. I don't know what those purple ones are. And I know they're impatience and begonias. And those, I know what they are, but I forget. Anyway, so that's what it's looking like. But I'm so happy with it because it is going to be more visible. The front, um, it, it was visible, but not the way this is. And I wasn't really going to do any planting up there. So I just felt like um, this was a better spot for it. And I'm so pleased with it. I want to pull, like these, I think they're tiger lilies. And they were given to me years ago. And so I think I might pull out a couple of them and redo like with something like, I just got this at Walmart. That was like five or six bucks. I think I'm going to put something there. I had something else there. Um, and I have a shepherd's hook that I might, I'm going to go to the dollar store and see if there's any kind of like, kind of fantasy little cheapy things that I could hang there just to give a splash of color and then I just have an old uh, wind chime up there and I may make my own wind ch I have one that's beads and I don't like the way it hangs but I'm gonna look into kind of fiddling around with that and trying to figure out a better way to hang it um, so all right that's my little fairy garden I've been so busy I've been weed whacking and lopping and clearing stuff out and getting ready for the season because May was kind of a washout for um, gardening around here because it wasn't I didn't feel inspired to do it and gardening's hard work so you know you want to feel inspired <laughs> all right so that's it there's my little fairy garden I'm going to come in for a little bit of a down low and I think I'll water them while I'm here all right you guys thanks for watching